Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Minus 300. Uh, we are on August now. The August price there for tomatoes is starting to come up a bit. We're on 500. Strawberries, the August price is up there. So really, yeah, October, it would be ideal if we could go through to October. It does seem like that's going to be a better price for us. The August price for tomatoes is coming up a bit. Uh, so I've got 500 there and I've got 227 in there. Silage at the moment. It's the only other thing that we've got really that we want to be selling is way down here. And we, we want it to be up this way. This, this is where we're going to be wanting this kind of price. Um... It will go all the way up to there, but at the moment we're about 160, 154, 148. I was thinking I'm just going to take it to the animal dealer. At the moment, that's the lowest price. We could load it onto the train, but then you've got the added cost of hiring the train, which does kind of nullify quite a bit of that. And... Wool. Wool was the other one I was going to take a quick look at and see if there's much difference in there. Yeah, wool is April. April is the time for selling wool. And then we got eggs over here. June and November seem to be good for eggs. At the moment, the price is down in August and still a thousand per litre. Eggs is the way forward. We want some eggs. And I just need to check the sheep for water 600 litres, 400 litres. We're all right for another day or two, and then we're going to want to go and put some water in them. Actually, let's go and do that now. Let's load up. We'll get the tanker on the tractor, and then we can put water in for the sheep. The greenhouses are fine still. We, we've got no issues with the greenhouses, and we've got plenty of stuff down there that we'll be able to go and use. So we'll get down there to the greenhouses. We'll be topping them up later. Um, I want to just keep accumulating produce. Yes, in theory, we shouldn't be storing strawberries for months and months and months. Um, but we've got really, really good strawberries that last ages, so we, we don't need to worry about it. Alright, I am back with a fresh round of recording. And this time, uh, I was going to be taking our Mahindra that is up here. And I was going to go and explore the dock over here because I was pretty sure that there would be a rare truffle over there. Now, I don't know if there is or there isn't, but I have been told that I need to find swings and take a look at swings. So we need to find swings, apparently. We're going swinging today. And if we can find them, apparently there is a rare truffle or two. Or three. I don't know how many there are, but apparently it's more than one swing that we need to go and find. And so I'm quite interested in this. I'm quite interested to see where... I don't even remember where they are. So we're going to take the Mahindra. We're going to bring that one back down and we're going to have a little bit of an explore and see if we can find where that might lead us. So I'm going to just bring this one up here and load water into the sheep up here like this. And the sheep are now full of water. We got them completely done. And then I want to just go and check over here. So we've got 14,000 in there and 14,000 in there. We got loads of water in here for the greenhouses. Two water into one lettuce. And that's 760, so it's 1,400. This one is... Uh, the tomatoes, 1,500, one water. So if we're using 1,500 water per month. It's going to take ages for us to go through that. So I'm not actually going to worry about doing anything more with the water. And in fact, I'm just going to park the tractor up there. Because I don't think we need to worry about that for a minute. Now... I want to be able to sell that silage and I want to be able to make a decent bit of money out of it. And then I also want to be able to plow up this area up here. Now, the roller didn't actually do anything. The meadow has grown. 
The roller was utterly useless. So I could go and mow the entire meadow again, but I don't really want to do that at this point because I kind of feel like that's just going to be repeating the last um, several episodes that we did, and I don't think that's going to be something that people are going to want to watch. So I'm not going to worry about that. We'll get rid of those two covers at the moment. Uh, we've got this nice big area up here, so we're going to be plowing in full-grown grass, which I know that some people won't necessarily like, but I do think that it will be ultimately worth it. And then we'll be able to start our planting. Now, we don't have to start that. We're going to plant wheat, so... I mean, it's good to get going with the plowing, if we could get going without today, so we want to buy a plow. So actually, I do want to move this one. I'm going to want to plow. Now, we, we'd we also want to be able to remove the stones, unfortunately. Oh, wait, no. We might be able to remove the stones. Stones, um... With the stone pickers, it's 25,000 to buy the cheapest stone picker, and that thing is like rather horrible but i mean we could probably try and use it however we have a front loader and there is a mod this one right here the rk beat basket and stone picker you basically just use that one and drive along through the field now that one's only 1200 euros that is affordable and then you you just drive around so I may not necessarily do the entire field. We may only do some of the field. If you leave the stones there, it doesn't do a yield hit. It damages your machinery faster. So, yes, we'll have to repair our machinery a bit quicker. But, you know, we could get that stone thing and we, we could have a go with that. I think that could be quite interesting. So, we've got the plow. We'll have that one. Um, ideally, we would want a seed drill. So we want to be able to... Uh, we're also going to want a cultivator of some kind. So the cheapest cultivator, we've got that one there at 12,000. Uh, there's that one for just 2,500. That's really cheap. It's three meters wide. Why are you so cheap? You fasten on to something. Well, what do you go on? I don't even know what that one fits on. Combinations. Oh, I see. That goes on the back of this one. This is a subsoiler. So you'd have to have this. So, uh, huh? We bought the subsoiler and that cultivator. We could do two jobs in a single pass. That's thirteen and a half thousand. Now we've got other cultivators here. Some of these are fairly cheap options. Like there's a looking like that's a homemade one right there. Um, I don't know if it actually is homemade, but. And then you've got a, a really small one there. That's only 900 euros, that is. That's, that's an old cultivator right there. And you can have it with or without a roller. Which would probably just take it like that. 900 euros. That That is dirt cheap. Right? That is... We bought that from a neighboring farmer. And... No, we that 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 is a magnificent deal. It's only two and a half meters wide, but it'd be able to work through and do the cultivating without without any problem whatsoever. Um, and then we can stone pick after we've done the cultivating. That would work really well, actually. So plows. What plow are we going to go for then? We I well no we I was thinking subsoiler because you know that that would be quite cool, but unfortunately we can't use that subsoiler option, which is this one here. Because you can't create fields with a subsoiler. And we need to be able to create fields because we want to make the area that we've got a little bit bigger. So you've got that modern plow right there at 14,000. Uh, there's this one here for 6,000. This is a non-reversible plow. So we would have to, I mean, if the hired help takes over and, and does it, then obviously it's going to be a bit different. Um, he will just move up and down the field. Uh, we could go for one of these chisel plows, but those don't fit with the area. You wouldn't see a chisel plow being used in this kind of area. At least I don't think you would. So I'm going to assume that the chisel plow is not particularly realistic for the area that we're in, and we will avoid that type, and we will go for this type. And I think that Kverland right there is probably our best bet. Three furrow non-reversible plow. The reversible there is 14,000. There is another one over here at 15,000, which does look pretty good. Only 1.6 meters wide. What are you? You're 1.2. This one is 1.3. So this one's a little bit wider. This is the one to go for. 
it's not a reversible plow, but that's all right. We can work with that. Um, and then when we have the hired help doing it, they, they don't tend to worry about reversible or otherwise. Unfortunately, I can't set the hired help driving down to the shop at the moment because we have no money. So I'm going to have to drive this one to the shop myself. And while we're on our way down to the shop, maybe we can keep an eye out for any swing sets that we see. We can go and try out and see if we can find rare truffles. Because if we can get a rare truffle today, that means that we will be able to buy that plow and bring it back and get started straight away on the plowing. Now, I'm going to be expanding the field slightly. There is also the bit of um, timber work that I wanted to do, the, the tree felling. Um, there's at least a couple of trees that I wanted to remove. The problem with removing the trees is grinding the stumps out. That's going to be the difficult bit with it. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with that. Now, there is a rather expensive... I don't think it's all that expensive. There's a there's an option with one of the. Ooh, wait, what's this? There's a swing set right there. Okay, there's there's nothing on that one. We got to look round for swings. Anytime we see a swing set, we got to stop and take a look. There's another one just up there, I think. Double post right there. Is that, uh, I should be able to see cheese on the swing set. I don't see one there. I'm guessing they're probably not going to be ones in town. Is that some over there? Okay, I know that I've parked in the middle of a roundabout right there. It's probably not the best thing to go and do. But I'm really excited because there's swings over here. Let me go swinging on these. Nope. No cheese. No rare truffles. There's another one around the back of the building. At least I see... Uh, oh, there's there's more over here. There's no rare truffles there. Uh, there's two more over here. Again, no truffles. There's got to be... So there's swings everywhere here. Okay. There are swings Everywhere apparently swinging is a really popular pastime around here. I wonder if we can actually swing on the swing set Apparently not that's a shame. I'd like to have used it. That would have been very cool Let's go On round this way. I don't see any more swings here at the moment. Okay, so there's no more here just for a second. It doesn't look like we've got any there, but they seem to be fairly frequent. It might be better having the Mahindra because we can move around a bit faster. We should be able to find more swing sets. There's another one over there. At least two or three of them over there just across the river. Let's get this one over to the dealership so that he's ready to drive the plow back home again after. Oh, there was another one that someone said. I was told about the swing sets, but someone else in the comments said, check the chocolatier. There's one near there. Now, I know that there was one over there near the cheese, but the chocolatier one is in here somewhere. Apparently, it's in the courtyard in here. This is where we need to be looking. So, we'll have a look in there and we'll also have a hunt around for the swing sets. So let's just park the tractor up there so he's ready to get the plow when we want it. Um, we want to go racing in here. Somewhere in here, there is apparently a piece of cheese. It is in a, a, a rare truffle. There is a rare truffle in here somewhere. I don't know where it's going to be. I don't see anything here yet. Oh, there. Look, right there. Fantastic. Right, so we got one more here. Uh, press R to get it. Seven more to go. So there's 10,000 euros, which means that we've now got enough to go and buy the plow. So I think what we will do is we will buy the plow straight away, and then we can carry that one back up to our farm. And then when we've done that, let me just go up to le shop over here so the other bit that i was wanting to do was cut down a couple of trees now we have now this one so we can drag trees around which is really really awesome 
we can drag them um unfortunately though we would have to drag them all down the roads in order to be able to actually make that work and we know that the um the sawmill the only sawmill that we've got is over this way okay sorry about that i had a phone call come up so we've got the sawmill over here so that's the only place that i can actually get the logs to now we do have at least a pallet fork that we can pick stuff up with which we might be able to do so that's great and all we can pick stuff up and we can move it around we've got loader tools here that we can pick logs up with and and so on and there is actually under forestry equipment a fairly cheap trailer that one right there 3800 so that's a cheap option for moving stuff around which means that we wouldn't need to use this one here for dragging anything so that's saving us a bit of money there's no point in doing this if we can't get rid of the stumps and whereas the stump grinder used to be a really cheap option it's not anymore twenty four and a half thousand for a stump grinder right there all right look at this thing twenty four and a half thousand now i think that this one does actually allow you to like it's you certainly plow the ground i think you can create new fields with it but i'm not sure although because i was wondering about maybe we could use this to do the plowing rather than buying a separate plow but that kind of feels a little bit like cheating i will be honest um but i mean this one is it's a really really good stump grinder i have used this one and it's really good so we could use that one just use it a bit and then sell it immediately afterwards so i mean there is that option this one forestry mulcher grinds down tree stumps that one uh this is way more expensive um so yeah we've got a couple of options here that might actually work but we're gonna need twenty four and a half thousand to be able to remove the tree stump now the reason that i want to do that is because all the way up here i want to remove a couple of these trees just in here so that we can sort of smooth things along over that way let me jump to the greenhouse a second see we can just go and have a look the silage should be ready to sell now uh silage yes it's complete the silage is ready to sell we just need the right price for it um we want to sell that in the winter so that we can get the most out of it now if we were going to do anything here i want to sell the cut that tree down there so that we can just make this area a little bit bigger possibly that tree and that tree and i don't think we'd want maybe these couple of trees as well and that would just open up this area a bit more i wouldn't worry about anything up on the top there and i wouldn't worry about anything over there so there's only like four or five trees that we would cut down there which is maybe a load possibly two loads onto the um the little trailer that we would have and then we could get rid of it and the only expensive thing that we have to fork out for is so we've got the chainsaw the only is the, the the stump grinder removing the stumps that's the only bit that's really going to cost us we we don't have to worry about the others and then we've got an a bigger area here that we could do something with and plus we also get the money for the trees which is you know not a bad thing at all so let's get the which order do i want to do this i want to get the plow and i want to be able to start working up there I guess we could expand we can expand the field afterwards we get the plow now we can start sort of expanding things and we can go and have a little bit of a hunt around looking for some uh more money There's some more rare truffles so i want that one right there six thousand that's the cheapest plow that we can buy buy that bad boy right there yes okay not getting anything else at the moment and we will take this one back up and we will start work on our field so I'm going to need to sort of cut an outside edge for where I want it to work. And then we kind of just let the machine get on the rest of it. So we've got that one right there. Is there any adjustments that can be made on this plow? Got uh, allow create. No, there isn't. Right. Because some of them you can like increase the width ever so slightly by making some adjustments. This one doesn't have any such options. So we don't need to worry about that for now. We've still got three and a half thousand left. In order to be able to get that stump grinder, we're going to need a minimum of 
to I didn't want to go up this road. This is the wrong road. I can go in this way. Uh because if you have a look. Yeah, I'm going up that road. I can come all the way over to here and then cut in it, but I've got a uh, uh, yeah, I've, I've got a fence that goes all the way up there, so we can't actually get through from this side. So, uh, yeah, I need to go this way. Right. Let's not take wrong turns here, shall we? Oh, there's uh, swing sets there. No, I can't see any truffles sitting on them. Keep a very careful eye out for any swing sets and truffles. There's a swing in there. I can't see a sign of a truffle on it. See any there? Go on up through the road carefully and slowly. There! Look! I see one! I see one sitting glowing in the sunshine! Right over here! Have a quick look around and make sure there's no. Right, they're walking away from us. They're walking away from us. Quick, run into the garden and grab this rare truffle before anyone else. Before anyone sees us! Run in here! It's on private property, so they, they, they may get upset. There was no one in the windows, was there? person over there maybe we, we ought to uh, I'll, I'll slip you I was never here I was never here you understand here I have, I have 20 I have 20 euros right I was never here you, you don't know me do you nope okay that's fantastic so we've, we've got one of them we, we need to find more we need to find more rare truffles okay I don't see any around here so there's more on it's the, the swing sets are apparently the the, the big the go-to ones the swing sets are the go-to ones now i reckon we could get the stump grinder and bring that one back up and do all the stuff with the timber without too much if we get one more rare truffle we need to find another swing set get one more um rare truffle because there's i believe there's at least two they said there's there's some there's some there are some rare truffles on swing sets now if they said some that would indicate that maybe there's more than one we was also told smoodalini said that there was one around here somewhere and i couldn't find it i was looking all over the place i was gonna say if it was on that swing surely i would have seen it but i uh, yeah I, I don't remember we did look around on this one and i couldn't find it so i don't know where that one might be but anyway, we, we won't worry about that one. Let's let's go on up through here. The twenty is twenty three and a half thousand for that stump grinder. So if we got one more, we could spend twenty three and a half thousand on the stump grinder, and we would be able to then cut down. Oh no, we need to be able to transport the trees as well. So we're going to need more money. One rare truffle and selling anything that is accumulated at the greenhouses would give us the money that we need. I do wonder if maybe I should try and do manual gears. I do have a gear shifter on my steering wheel, but it never actually seems to be able to hook up to anything. And then I could have manual transmission instead of the having it done automagically like it does at the moment and then it wouldn't adjust at the wrong time going up and down the hills which might make life easier for us I kind of wanted to have up here the edge of the field that we'd already done it's, it's a bit more difficult now that the grass has grown it's gonna be a bit more difficult to see what's going on but we'll try it anyway so we're gonna just start that one up I know it's kind of facing the wrong way well not necessarily for doing the outside round, that plough, it, it, it is facing. We, we, we want to um, turn the furrow out from the middle of the field. So we're going to go here to start with. Uh, we actually want to go over here like this. So I'm just going to go sort of along the top edge of this field right here. And then go up towards that clump of stuff just there and bring it round in a circle so kind of like that and then we follow along here I don't want to get too close to the bank right there so we'll sort of stay just down from that I'm also not sure where the actual edge of the field is 
Oh, wait. No, I've got it on allow create fields at the moment. I, I will I'll keep it on allow create field just while I go around the outside edge just so that I can mark out the exact circuit of where I want this field. So then this one comes along here and we'll keep this in a fairly straight line coming down here. It's not going to be a perfect straight line but it's going to be pretty good because that's going to make it easier for us later on when we're working this field. And now we can bring it down this way. So I'm not going to bother taking any trees out from this top end up here. So I'll go kind of close to the trees just here. Like that, but I'm not going to get any closer than that. There we go. So I've plowed up a few of the bushes there, just because just I like to do that. And then we bring it on round. Close down here. I don't want to get too close down there either. And now we go up through here. So I might just expand this out a bit further later. But for now, I'm going to do a line through here. Like this. Just to give us a rough idea of which trees we want to take out. And it's, that's, that's the trees that we want to take out. We want to go like that. And then I want to bring this one back up this way now. Going up that way. So then I'm going to turn off the allow create fields bit. So this tree up here, we're not getting rid of that one. That one's going to stay. That roller right there is actually pretty useless at the moment. And I'm assuming that it will work on a grass meadow, but it's just that we don't have grass meadow that is currently available because the grass that's planted here doesn't actually seem to register in the game as grass for some peculiar reason. I'm not quite sure why that might be, but that's just the way it is. Okay, so that is the outside edge of our field. So now what I'm going to do is if we go uh, limit to fields, I'll just press Y on there and allow it and have it limited to fields. Then we start work on the second round. I'm going to do three times around so that I've got a decent edge to the field boundary up here. And then we can let the hired help carry on doing any work that it needs to do and the hired help should then deal with the rest of this without any trouble it's also going to be interesting to see where the actual edges of the field are because i think coming down this way um we will have gone right well there's a few little bits there that what i'm plowing at the moment so we're going to need allow create fields to come back on to work through that. But that's fine. That's, that's not going to cause us any problems. We'll do that afterwards. I don't want to worry about creating fields just now. And that's the very, very edge of the thing. So when we go and do our third time round, we'll gather that bit up. This down here is doing nothing at all is fine. I suspect coming down this way we will cut into existing field. I don't know. We might not. It's, kind of, it's good that though. This, this is a good thing that we're not cutting into existing field. Unfortunately folks that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.